Now today we'll be showing on how to test and replace a starter relay. Now chances are you're watching this video because you're attempting to start your vehicle and nothing happens. There's no cranking. If you hear cranking, this is not your problem. But if you have no cranking from the starter, maybe you tried jumping the vehicle, nothing happens still, this may be the culprit. Now very quickly before we begin, you may be thinking, how do I find this on my vehicle? Two things you can try. Number one is a web search specific for your vehicle. And very often you can find images and diagrams showing where the relay lives. Even try a forum specific for your vehicle. Most likely you will be successful. So we know based on that diagram that the relays live underneath the dash and right there on the corner. In fact, if I remove this cover, I have some fuses and then directly above it that's where we find the relays. Let me place down the camera and we'll remove this plastic cover. Now holding on this plastic cover really are just a few plastic fasteners, which you will see in a moment. Typically there could be one here and a couple on the top corners. Now removing them can be quite tough sometimes. If you can't fit a couple fingers underneath the plastic, uh, it can also hurt your fingers as you try to remove it. What you could do is purchase a set like this maybe ten eleven dollars off amazon really nice nice set this is definitely one of the better ones that i've owned it's just a trim removal set as you can see you have a number of different adapters i'll include a link if you guys do need this off amazon in the description box below very very simply all that you do just insert the tool and you rotate okay just rotate the goal very very slowly around the perimeter and slowly pull off, there you go, the housing. And as you can see, you have these plastic fasteners. Now, if you do break these, there are a number of kits that you can purchase that you can uh, easily, as you can see, this one is, is broken. I, I'll have to re replace this, but you can purchase a kit that will have a number of adapters. So you can go ahead and take care of that. Now, let's go ahead and take a look what we have here. And right here, these are our relays. In this case, for the starter, this is the starter cut relay. So let's go ahead and remove it. So the relay is pretty much removed. Just once you get a good grip on it, that's all it is. Very, very simple, small device. Now testing the relay is quite simple. You really just need three components. Number one is a battery pack that pushes out 12 volts. You can use your car battery. In our case, I have an RC battery pack that does the job. Number two is a digital multimeter. Do not get overwhelmed with these. Very simple to use, an absolute must have if you plan on doing your own auto repair. Also, very, very useful for inside the house. But that being said, take a look at the multimeter. This one is roughly $15. And you have a number of different symbols. What you want to find is the symbol for continuity. Now, continuity means two points make a connection. That's it. Very, very simple. So looking at the meter, the continuity setting is, it looks like a Wi-Fi hotspot. So that's what you want to find. They all have the same symbol. Doesn't matter which brand you purchase. So Wi-Fi hotspot, take a look at the screen. Right there, Wi-Fi hotspot. So now I'm on the continuity setting. So if I touch these two leads, we have continuity. So this is ready to go. Then I have alligator clips because I need to get power from the pack to the relay. Now don't forget, this is really just a switch. So when power and ground is supplied to the relay, there's a little switch that turns on here and allows current to flow to, in our case, the starter. Now you may be looking at this and thinking, well, how do I know which prongs to touch? Well, two things, trial and error, which I'll show you now. I'll, I'll do that based on, I don't know which prongs to touch, or if you have the factory repair manual, as I was stating earlier, the repair manual will tell you which prongs to touch, okay? In other words, which prongs receive power and which prongs to test for continuity. But don't go crazy, it's very, very simple. So what we're going to do, here are the alligator clips. So positive to positive, of course, don't cross the leads. And negative to negative. Okay, now let's say I don't know which two prongs to touch. Well, the first thing is 
you want to test the horizontal, in my case, and the vertical. Now, most likely yours will look very, very similar to this one. You have two horizontal leads and two vertical leads. Now, if you do have five leads, we have a separate video. I think that was a fuel pump, and I'll include that link uh, below. And with the five leads, you can also test this very, very simply. But that being said, chances are you'll have a four lead as this relay is. So, so let's first apply power and ground to the top relay. Now it doesn't matter if your positive is here and your negative is here or vice versa because what you want to hear for, by the way, is a clicking noise, okay? That tells you that the relay is energized. I didn't hear anything there, so let's try the other way. Okay, nothing, okay? I don't hear anything. So let's try the vertical, guys. So one lead here, one lead here. And there you go, you hear that? That is a very good sign that this is working. But it's not foolproof. But let's say I, I did this the other way. Okay, still turns on. So now, let me just move this, it's a little too close. So now I want to verify once this is powered, these two leads should be connected inside the relay. So again, this switch will now be touching both leads. So let's see if this is working correctly. So if you hear that clicking noise, very good sign, but it's not, again, it's not 100%. Grab your multimeter and check for continuity. Okay, one lead goes here, the other lead here. Let me zoom in just in case. There we go. Okay, here we go. One lead on the bottom, one on top. There we go, continuity. If I reverse it, does it make a difference? Okay, that's it. So that verifies, let me make it steady. So that verifies that the relay is working. Now if you do this test and your relay is perfectly fine but you're having trouble with your vehicle, in other words, you're turning the key and nothing is happening, you're not getting a crank from the starter, we just did a video a few days ago regarding how to check the battery, the starter. We talk about the ignition switch. There's something called the transmission range switch. I go through all of that. It's like 20 minutes long. I'll include a link in the description box below if you want to check that out. But that's all it takes to test a relay. Very, very simple. So as you can see, quite simple to test one of these. Now before we wrap this up, very, very quickly, I am going to create a playlist specifically for relays. I'll include the link above my shoulder and in the description box below. And I will just add to that list over the next two weeks. I'm going to start really adding to these uh, uploading relay videos just so we can get everything on one source in a sense. So fan relays, power window relays, uh, ignition coil relays, there are a lot of relays in your vehicle. So in the future, if you have a problem, you'll have this one link to really test any relay that you really need for the most part. And hopefully this will save you money, you know, as opposed to your car not running, now you have to get a tow truck, bring it somewhere and that sort of thing. It may just be a $10 part. So that being said, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.